Right, hi guys, it's Mr. B here, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to use inverted commas, what we put inside them, and what punctuation we use with them, okay? So inverted commas, you might have seen before, look like that when you're reading. Sometimes they're called speech marks, okay? It's what we used to call them in schools, but now we call them inverted commas. Don't ask me why speech marks weren't good enough for me, because, as you guessed it, they have speech inside, okay? <laughs> So, inverted comm commas are used in writing to show something that someone is saying, okay? And it shows what they've said word for word, so it says exactly what they said. We call this direct speech, so there is another type of speech that sometimes we use in writing called indirect speech, but we might look at that another time. When we use inverted commas, we put inverted commas around what someone is saying, and it is exactly what they were saying, okay? Let's have a little look. So... We don't put them around the whole sentence, we only put them around what the person actually said. So we've got an example sentence here. Yeah. Practice your punctuation, said Mr. B. You can see we have our start of our uh, inverted commas and our end inverted commas. This is exactly what Mr. B said, okay? And the other text is just adding so we understand what is happening in the story of the text, okay? Let's have a look at another rule that we need to have. Always start with a capital letter even if it is in the middle of your sentence. So when we put our speech in, it could be in the middle of a sentence, but we still need to have a capital letter, okay? So here we have, Mr. B came over and said, hello everyone. We can see there, hello has a capital H, but it's in the middle of the sentence. That's okay, because it's the speech and it's inside our inverted commas. Remember that. Also need to remember that we separate a uh, speech from the other text with commas, unless a full stop question mark or exclamation mark is needed. That sounds a little bit wordy, so let's delve into that, okay? So they asked, are you sure? So before the inverted commas, before the direct speech, we have a comma separating this text from that bit, okay? Let's have another look at example here. Of course we are, he answered. We've got a comma there because we're going back into the text um, and it's inside the commas there. And then let's look at this last one. They looked at each other and said, we've got a comma there. Okay. Okay, then that's the end of the sentence, so we don't have a comma at the end, we have a full stop. If it was a question, we'd have a question mark, like here, okay? But they're at the end of the sentence, so we don't have a comma there, or it would still be the same sentence, and it wouldn't make sense. Okay, let's look at another rule. So, as you can see from the different examples, we've got the same one here. Your punctuation relating to the uh, speech goes inside the commas. So I haven't did my vertical commas and the question mark afterwards. I haven't in my inverted commas, then the comma afterwards. I haven't in my inverted commas and the full stop afterwards. They go inside the actual inverted commas. So any punctuation you need goes inside the commas. Okay. And then we're also going to look here that if two people are talking, you go onto a new line each time a different person starts talking. And this is separated so it's easy to read and it also lets the, uh, the reader understand who's talking. So, why did you do that? Mr. B asked. New line. I don't know, she replied. Someone else talking. Then we go back to Mr. B, so we use another line. Neither do I, he said in a mood. Okay? Again, you can see each line is a new speaker. So it just said he said, but we know it's someone else if that was two boys speaking, because it went on to a new line. So that's to help us understand it. So let's have a look. Let's go over the rules again. Punctuation, we've got it inside the actual comma, uh, inside the inverted commas, okay? So inside there, question mark, comma, comma, inside, okay? We start with a capital letter. Now, none of these are in the middle of a sentence, but the speech all starts with a capital letter. Um, what else are we look at? Inverted commas is around not the whole sentence, it's what was actually said by the person. And also we're separating the text with a comma. Now this one needs a question mark, so we don't, but this one and this one have a comma because it's going in. If it was when it was saying, he said in the mood, neither do I, it would be, he said in the mood, comma, neither do I. So we separate that with commas, okay? So, that's all we need to really look at when we're using verb commas. Put them in to put speech in your stories, in whatever you're writing, okay? If you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, if you have any other questions, anything like that, pop them in the comments and I'll see if I can have a look at them. And of course, if you know anyone else that might um, get some help from this video, share it and hopefully we'll be able to help some other people as well. Until next time, see you later.